is my fourth day in Dahab. I uh, just finished my Patty open water course. Um, I'm taking off tomorrow night at 12.30. I have to take an overnight bus heading to Cairo. And uh, I'll be in Cairo for just about 12 hours and then I take the night train um, at like seven or eight at night and from Cairo down to Aswan uh, for my final destination. However, I am hoping um, while I'm in Aswan that I could go up to Luxor for one day and check out some of the um, sites up there because I do not want to miss Luxor, but um, from staying in Dahab for so long, I kind of pushed Luxor out of my itinerary, um, but still really want to make uh, the effort to go down there and see, the, uh, see Luxor. Um, Dahab's been beautiful. It's been it's a really relaxed and chill beach town. Um, it's very quiet right now. Yeah, it's in low season, very quiet, uh, which is kind of nice not having the craziness of Cairo um, they constantly, but uh, I've enjoyed it. Um, the prices are a little bit more expensive um, as far as food and uh, beer or anything like that, um, but it's a really great place and uh, I met some cool people. And I mean, honestly, I don't know how well this sunset's gonna come out, but I'm t trying to take a time lapse right now. Um, the Red Sea is just, it's incredible. Just finished packing up, uh, about to walk down to the bus station, catch a bus that's leaving at 12.30, eight hours, uh, I get to Cairo, um, spend all day in the train station waiting for the other bus because I got my two bags, and then catch a seven o'clock train from Cairo to a swan, which I think is like another 10 hour train. So the next two days are gonna be fun. Near the bus station, full backpacker. This town is just absolutely quaint, very quaint. But I said, it'll look at fun hostel, uh, some navigated adventures. Uh, did diving, snorkeling, I was in the water every day. Um, didn't really vlog too much just cause like, I mean, it was just nice to relax. Vlogging actually takes a lot more work than I thought. Uh, but next two days I'm gonna vlog this very long adventure and uh see where it goes also the most reckless shameless plug yes i'm famous kosheri i haven't actually tried it but i heard it was actually really good so maybe that guy is famous made it onto the bus actually not a bit it's about 5 a.m been on the bus for Good five hours. Sunrise is coming up. And that is actually. We've probably gone through like, I don't know, like six or seven checkpoints already. Um, get on, check your passport, get off. I'm tired. Back into the madness of Cairo. So, got like eight hours to go before my train. Uh, I was supposed to go to a cafe that was like 15 minutes away, but I was just in the Uber for like an hour and a half. Yeah, I fell asleep for most of the ride, but my neck is killing me now, but I, I got no clue where the hell I am because it's a small I don't think I've ever been to before, so I guess I'll see if the cafe is inside you. Okay. I'm like the only person in this mall in this place called Crave. It looks promising. A seven hour layover I have, trying to get some work done for 100 pounds, the salad, some bread, 
Actually, you know, it's like six US, so not a bad deal. Okay, the next video is done. Espresso. My dude brought me out a couple, couple mini macaroons. They're actually pretty fire. It's a cool spot. Okay, so left the mall. Going to, or I'm at this bar called Crimson. Um, it's got a really cool view of the Nile. I guess on the top floor. But also some super dope, some super dope art. Sleeper car, at least. I don't even know how the fuck that falls down. I think it's like 10 hours, 12 hours till we get us to a swamp. Been traveling for 18 hours straight now, so we'll get there when we get there. All right, so I got an update on how, uh, how we're supposed to put this down, so. These flip up, and that's one bed. And then this slips down after dinner, he said, so that's two beds. So, it looks like I'm splitting the, uh, <laughs> so I'm splitting this fucking room with somebody, and also they're gonna hate me because I know I'm gonna snore because I haven't slept in a while. So, hopefully they don't snore. Train's moving. Luckily nobody else is in here. I don't know if it's gonna stop. And more people are gonna get on. Um, I can't figure out how to put that bed down. This shit is kinda, it's a little bit gnarly. I'm exhausted. I got locked in this room earlier and I got super claustrophobic because the door lock is, it makes no sense. Um, yeah. So nine hours we'll be in Luxor, and then uh, like 11, 12 hours we'll be in a swan. Uh, look what we got. Yeah. Look what we got. Some, some yeah. chicken, rice, yeah. and it looks like <laughs> some mystery meat. The food when you're riding to Egypt. And we're back. I was finally able to get some sleep last night. I slept up on the top, top bunk. Really see it. Uh, there was a, there's like a older Chinese guy down here from Washington D.C. Uh, he's a nice guy. Felt bad though. He actually got schemed. He paid two hundred and fifty dollars for his ticket, and I paid eighty dollars. So I actually made me feel, I feel bad for him, but um, yeah. So. Not very good for him. Um, also, fairly bad. Last night, like I don't know if you guys see, this is a like I can. Pr it's, a, it's like a metal roof, and I forgot. I, I woke up. I hadn't slept in so long, so I, I fell asleep. And this train was, was we're bumping around in this tin can of death. And I woke up when we were like bouncing around, and it was pitch black inside this cabin. And I forgot like that I was on the train. 
So I immediately I reached up and felt that there was like the felt uh, like a, a metal wall above my head. And I freaked out and I was like, get me out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. And started kicking around and banging around all this shit for like probably five or six seconds before this guy I was like whoa and like turned his flashlight on his phone he's like what, what, what's wrong what's wrong and then I remembered I was on a train and he was underneath me and I was like oh I'm sorry man like I thought I was just trapped inside like some I'm not there kidnapped or something no uh, currently stopped right now uh in between Luxor and the Swan um should be this one hopefully within like the next hour and a half uh it's about seven in the morning